Like, for example, the Batek Knesset that I went to in New York, fantastic, amazing, amazing Batek Knesset. Bukharian uh, congregations over there are very, very strong. Uh, Bet Gavriel uh, has an enormous amount of Torah in it, and also, so I don't forget, I always forget until the middle of the year to also thank Torah anytime for publicizing our Shiurim. Anyone that wants to see the Shiurim that we have, Baruch Hashem, uh, on TorahAnytime.com, or they can go to my website, BeZatHashem.org. But uh, one thing that came out today, Baruch Hashem, is that uh, they put a banner on the front page of Torah Anytime with our uh, personal story shiur to get more and more people familiar with it as many people are being motivated by it. And, you know, the amount of people that have been motivated by my personal story is really amazing to me because to me it's my life. It's not really amazing to me. But to other people, it gives you the ability to see things from a different perspective. So... The, the reason why I mention all of this about Torah anytime is because that Bet Gabriel shul is not a normal shul. Not a normal shul. Why is it not a normal shul? Baruch Hashem, it's big. There's many big places. Has a lot of people. Baruch Hashem, there's many places that have a lot of people. But what I saw there that was very, very special is that everyone is involved. Everyone is connected in some way or another, some more, some less, but overall everyone has respect for the Torah when they're reading the Torah. You don't really hear many people talking like you do in a lot of other places. Even if someone's talking, you tell them to be quiet, they're quiet, they don't answer back. And when you have respect for the Torah like that, it has to come from somewhere. So then you start looking at who's the leaders. You look at the rabbis over there. Rabbis, each one is better than the other. Hamash, they tell everybody the truth. This is what it is. This is what Hashem said. Deal with it. No, uh, listen, it's not relevant to now. No, no, no. This is what Hashem said. This is what Hashem said. That's it. You guys have to wake up. If you haven't woken up yet, it's time to wake up. So now, you see the congregation is the result of the rabbis. But then you see something even more that I learned about it is that two major Jewish organizations, both Torah Anytime and Chazak, both came out of that shul. The members of the shul, Abale Tshuva, started the actual, those, uh, actually the uh, Chazak is, they were religious from birth, I believe. But they started this organization, Chazak, which is a major organization for, for, for shulim, for all types of things, from that shul. Uh, Torah Anytime, the two brothers, Balet Shuva, Bet Gabriel, they grew up there, they, they helped build the place, and now they have, I think, the number one Torah website out there. If it's not number one, it's close to it at least. So you see that the apple doesn't fall far away from the tree. You see that when the tree is good, the fruits are going to be good. But if the tree is rotten, you're going to have rotten fruits. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.